good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast recognizes Western Armenia IAS. Azerbaijan troops continue to remain at strongholds near Paru. The situation has been tense throughout the day. During the Russian Ukrainian war, Turkey played on two wires, Tiran Lok Majesian. The Ministry of Defense of Armenia has denied the information that appeared in the Turkish media that Armenia supplied weapons to Russia to use against Ukraine. Culture of carpet making lives in Inosmida, Java. Armenian chess player won in the second round of the European Chess Championship. The Charles Aznavour Art Center has opened the French city on Montigny de Bretonne. Ayaz is a port city for the Cilicia of Western Armenia. It was named Ege or Egea. In the second century, it was named Adriana. The city experienced high development during the period of Cilician Armenian state. Being the estate of Armenian kings under the patronage of Rubinian and Tetumian, it became a major center of international trade and crafts. Hence, Emperor is called it the golden anchor of the Armenian state, the harbor of the Armenian king. Ayas was also a center of the Armenian kings. The palace of the Armenian king was located in a land fortress where officials lived. This is reported by the press service of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Republic of Armenia. In 1522, Ayas was conquered by the Ottoman Sultanate. The Armenian life in Ayas became somewhat more active in the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century. However, the Armenians of Ayas were deported and most of them were exterminated in 1915 during the genocide of Armenian people. During March 28, no significant violation of ceasefire regime were recorded along the contact line and the operational and tactical situation remained tense. Azerbaijani troops continued to remain in a stronghold adjacent to Paruk village and no positional changes were recorded during the day. The armed forces of Artsakh have been additional measures, especially in the direction of Karagaluk. At the same time, work continues with the command of Russian peacekeeping contingent in order to return the Azerbaijani side to its original positions. We call on everyone to stay calm and follow the official news, reads the statements issued by the Artsakh headquarters information. Western Armenia condemns aggression against its sovereign territory and reminds Azerbaijan to respect international law. Azerbaijan is a state that was informed during the signing of Treaty of Severs that any aggression calls into question its legitimacy as a state in relation to Western Armenia and its population. On Western Armenia TV, Turkologist Iran Lokmajezian analyzed Turkey's position in the Russian-Ukrainian war, noting that Turkey behaves in a classical way because it is a member of NATO. By its action, it showed that it is on the side of Ukraine and does not accept Russia's action and demands, even helped Ukraine with Bayraktar and other ammunition. But on the other hand, Turkey did not take part in sanctions against Russia. This is a typical Turkish approach to play on two wires, and this is the kind of active neutrality from which you can learn in diplomatic and political terms. It is possible that these steps of Turkey are coordinated with the West and use it as a last bridge, referring to the main reason for accepting payments for Russian gas and rubles. He notes that in this way an attempt is being made in counteract Western sanctions, which nevertheless carried great risks. In this case, the West is guided by double standards. General sanctions are applied against Russia, but sanctions are not applied in matters that harm them. The Turkish channel Haber Global claims that Armenia has transferred four Su-30 military aircraft to Russia for use in military operations against Ukraine. The Ministry of Defense of Armenia stated that this allegation have nothing to do with reality. According to the Ministry of Defense, all these plans of the Armenia is with the equipment and have not flown anyway. The Ministry of Defense of Armenia also denied the news that appeared on the same TV channel that mercenaries from Syria crossed through Armenia to Ukraine and fought for Russia. Western Armenia expresses dissatisfaction with this false information and wants to remind that occupying Turkish state that a style of involving Syrian mercenaries in the way is similar only to him or his younger brother, Azerbaijan. An event entitled Culture of Carpet Making Leaves was held in an educational and cultural youth center in Inosmida. The students of the carpet making circle presented the genealogy and stages of development of Armenian carpet through an interesting historical essay and accompanied by Armenian songs and dances. According to the organizers of the event, carpet making in Jabach gained a new scope in 2014 when an educational and cultural youth center was opened in Inosmida. The event was attended by the teaching staff of Inosmida Educational and Culture Center, public and culture figures, etc.
Armenian chess players continued their performances at the individual European Championship. Grandmaster Gabriel Sarkisyan, Shan Sarkisyan, Samvel Tersagyan also won in the second round are in a group of leaders. The point was shared by Artur Davtian, Haik Martirosyan, Manuel Petrosyan and Mamikon Karibyan. The individual European Chess Championship this year will be held in a Slovenian city of Brezice. It started on March 26 and will end on April 7. The Charles Aznavour Art Center has officially opened in French city, Montigny Le Breton. According to Aznavour Foundation, the opening ceremony was attended by the co-founder of Aznavour Foundation, Nicolas Aznavour, the director of Foundation Charles Aznavour, high-ranking representatives of French region of Ile de France and the department Evelyn, as well as other guests. The center is a unique space for young people to express their creative thoughts, acquire new knowledge and be closer to art and culture. The center has a large concept concert hall, a large recording studio, music center and dance studios, other professional audiences as well as an outdoor event hall. At the moment, the number of students in the city is about 1,800. Now musical part, Armenian folk song, Yerking Nampele. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.